Okay, so good day class. So um, uh, this topic uh, formally starts our first uh, lecture for the finals. No, finals na topic. And uh, it's been a while since um, uh, nag-discussed na, no? So, um, this topic is called the probability theory. So, if some of you are not, um, wala pa ka-experience ukad aning probability, wala pa mo naka-encounter before, sa so, umanin yung subject, I advise you to, um, tanatanaw o mga, uh, ubang lecture video, as well as, uh, masabasa, no, sa, ubang topics about probability because uh, for me no personally probability is one of those topics na medyo uh isugisud siya um medyo isugisud di wrap around no but uh it's not that hard as long as you completely understand its concept so uh let us start okay so, probability theory is a mathematical modeling of phenomena a chance of randomness. So, basically, uh, we all know what the term probability means, di ba? Kung may mong ka, probable, na probable chance. Uh, pasabot uh, na, na siya ay nakagibasihan, no? It says in the definition, phenomenon of chance or randomness. So, muning gibasihan sa probability, no? If uh, this, this, this chances that you have and ram randomness sa environment. If uh, this type of event could happen, no? No matter how uh, random or how kanang, um, kanang, ang sitawag na, impossible as long as it has a chance, no? It has a probability to occur. So, inga na siya. Okay, so in this topic, this will be the list of subtopics that we will be discussing. The sample spaces and events, finite probability spaces, conditional probability, independent event, binomial distribution, and random variables. In this lecture video, I think I'm gonna discuss the sample spaces and event and finite probability spaces. If it is not too long, then, um, Kana gidua ang content ani nga lecture video. But uh, uh, we will see. Okay? Okay. So, what are sample spaces and events? Um, uh, but before that, day, no, ako sa day ni siyang narag a definition. No? Ani unsa ni sila nga mga topics. So, sample spaces and events are um, basically the environment or probability. Muna siya ang murag, kung i-analogy na to, murag muna siya ang, ang earth or ang world wherein ang probability nag-exist. Okay? So, usually, kaning sample spaces and events, usually, kamumoy mag-set ani or katong tao nga mak gusto makakita sa probability anang event. Then, we have the finite probability spaces. Naatay infinite probability spaces, but it's not, it is not in the scope of this uh, subject because, again, ang ato subject is discrete. Discrete means na siya ending. So, ang probability that we will be talking here will be just a finite. Okay? And then, we have the conditional probability wherein a certain event or a certain at um, rag ka ng chance, no? Or a certain lagi event occurs, no? Depending on another event. So, ano na siya. And then, we have the independent event, which is the complete opposite of the conditional event. And we will be talking about binomial distribution. And lastly, the random variables. Okay? Binomial distribution or the distribution that only contains ones and zero or two choices, no? Two choices lang ang iyang chance. It could either occur or not occur. And then the random variables are those variables that, um, that are more random, di ba? But we will be talking about that. 
If you are interested in this topic, nani siya sa libro, kantanan, uh, libro by uh, Seymour, and katong kay Seymour, kay Lipschutz, Mark, no? Lipson, and Shams. So, kaninga libro usually akong magini ako ang go-to kay kompleto siya mag-discuss. So, if you want to read that in advance, I advise you to read that in advance. Pero kung di kaya pumukha, gets kayo, uh, you can watch other lecture video. Okay. So, let's start with sample space as an event. So, sample space is a set of all possible outcomes of a given experiment denoted as the set S. Okay? So, sample spaces na deritanan possible outcome. Na deritanan um, uh, dia, nga set, no? That set contains all the possible outcomes, no? For example, um, the outcome wherein uh, um, say, gender if uh, you give birth, no? Of ug itnay mga anak unsay unsay outcome nga gender so ang sample space anak should could be either girl or boy di ba or um kana siya so depende sa unsa na nga event no ang kadaghan sa uh, content sa imong sample space okay the element of s is called element of s is called the sample point so katong mga element ato nga set is uh, called the sample point. Then, um, an event A is a set of outcome, which is a subset of S. Okay, so, uh, from your set S that contains all the set of outcomes, you can create a subset. No? So, it could be A, could could be B, depending sa imuha, but uh, basically, you can create a subset from your sample set. Tapos, uh, the set A consisting, if you have a set, no, a subset, wherein isa rakabok ang iyang element, uh, that could be called an elementary event. So, elementary event is when you created a subset with one element lang. No, you created a subset from the sample space. Okay. An S that has no elements or an empty set is sometimes called the impossible event or null event. So, katong mga sample spaces na walay content, walay sulod, they can be called impossible or null. So, this type of uh, events is impossible to occur. Di gini siya mahitabo, miskin yung saon. Okay, so, uh, wala gini siya probability, miskin, 0. 0.00000 to the infinite 1 Bigin na. So, wala gini chance mahitabo. So, I, uh, uh, what do you think are the examples of this kind of event? Na ka nang wala dyan, bigin mahitabo. Well, one simple uh, um, example is that, uh, for example, you have the, um, you have, um, uh, for example, natay katong kanang kwarta na to, no? Kanang atong uh, 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 sa tawag na, currency. So, di ba, ang color na to sa ato ang 50 is orange. So, for example, we are given a problem wherein uh, we are asked to find a 50 pesos that is colored blue. So, 50 pe Philippine peso that has the color blue. So, banknote na color blue. Banknote din English na. So, in other words, um, di gina siya mahitabo kaya wala magitay kwarta nga 50 nga color blue. Di ba? Ang ato ang 50 is color, ano man, orange. Orange ba na siya? So, that could never occur. Siguro na ay wala gina siya chance, no? So, muna siyang matawag na itong impossible event. Or maybe, for example, we are asked to... Um, sa pa may mga examples sa impossible events, no? Um, 
from na may magulaw na anak. So, kanang mga impossible na gamitable, like, a, a human being that could defy gravity. So, kana siya, no? Without using any contraption. So, I think that is very impossible to occur. No? Para makalupad ang tao, magamit ito technology because uh, we cannot defy, defy the law of gravity. So, that is another example. Okay. So, since an event is a set, we can combine events to form new events using the reset of population. Okay. So, events, no? Um, an event is, again, a subset of your sample space. Uh, event ang tawag na. It could be an event A, event B, event C. Ikaw na bahala kung si pag name na. But, events are subsets of your sample space. And since um, event is a set, no, set man ng events, we can always combine one event to another event. So, muna siya diri ah. So, you can union two events. It means that if event A occurs or if and only if, no, if, uh, is, you can union uh, two events if and only if A occurs or B occurs or both. Okay? So, Muna siya. Ang intersection is if and only if A occurs and B occurs. So, uh, um, important note to remember, kung mong union ang two event, it is an equivalent of the or statement. So, pwede mo occur si A, pwede mo occur si B. Pwede mo occur si A, dili mo occur si B. Pwede mo occur si B, pero di mo occur si A. Pwede sila doon ang occur. Okay? Um, Kaning intersection is like the logical end wherein both of these uh, events should occur. And then we have the A complement, uh, also written as A bar. So in this event, uh, that occurs if and only if A does not occur. So bali siya sa kanang event. Okay? So keep this in mind. Okay. So, here is a very simple example of a sample spaces and event. So, example 1. Toss a coin three times and observe the sequence of heads and tails that appear. Okay, and let A be the event that two or more heads appear consecutively and B that all the tosses are of the same. Okay, so... So, minatumbuhato na ni. First and foremost, let us determine our sample space. So, before ta makakuha kang A o kang B, dapat kabaluta sa tong sample space. Because, again, si A and B are subset. Subset raman ni sila sa tong sample space. Okay, so let us determine the sample space. How do we determine the sample space? So, the problem is that uh, we need to toss a coin three times and observe the sequence of head and tails. So, since the sample space contains all the non-possible output, ang saka ng possible output, aning a problem wherein you toss three coins, no? The, uh, wherein you toss coin three times. So, it could be, ang saman, it could be... Ang akong gabuhato na ni is mura siya 3, but you can all, all, always use your own method para makita ninyo tanan probability sa output, no? But, it could be that head ang una ni mong makuha, no? Pwede sa tail ang imong una makuha. So, depende. Katuluman na, no? So, pwede head or tail. Now, on the second, pwede sa, of course, head and, pwede sad tail. If tail po nang sugod ni mo, sa second, pwede sad head. And then, pwede sad ni siya tail. Okay? Now, this is your first toss. This will be your second toss. Now, on the third toss, depende, head or tail sa gahapon. So, it could be head or it could be tail. It could be head could be tail, 
this could be head, this could be tail. So, yan na siya. So, sa first toss, pwede head or tail. Sa second toss, no, kung head, imong una, pwede ang sundod, head or tail, yapon, di ba? The same, kung tail ang sugod, una po ni mo na kuan. So, um, head or tail, yapon, ang probability sa sunod ni mo nga toss. Sa third nga toss, no, sa head, pwede sa head or tail sa gihapon, no, head or tail sa mga gihapon. So, in this case, makita ni mo ang tanan probable na outcome. Pwede ka makakuha o change the color. Okay, pwede ka makakuha o head, head, head. Pwede ka makakuha head, tail. Head, tail, head. Head, tail, tail. Pwede sa ka makakuha o kana. Kana, tail, tail, head. O, purus tail. So, kung ato nang isulatanan, we have head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, tail, pwede sa T, H, H, T, H, T, 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 H, and T, T. Diba? So, muna ni Karun ang possible na mga makuha ni mo. No? So, this is now your set S. Okay? So, ako, siguro ni mga tanas ni mo, ma'am, pareha naman ni si head, head, tail, o tail, head, head. Nagkabali-bali lang. So, um, note, no? Note that uh, yes, pwede rin na ninyo siya iisa, depende sa problem gihapon. Since wala man siya nag-ingon diri ang uh, uh, nga kaning kinahanglan na sakto ang order sa pagkatos, no? So, pwede rin na ninyo siya maisa kaning duha o No, pwede rin na ninyo isa, but uh, again, uh, it is safe, no, nga kompleto ang atong mabutang diri sa ato ang um, sample space. Okay. So, muna siya ang ato ang possible na mga outcomes. Okay. Now, um, let's find our event A. So, our event A two or more heads appear consecutively consecutively so in sa pasaba sa consecutively nagsunod so since we have this kind of event no nga nang nangita siya og katong nagsunod na head ah uh, dina dina to siya pwede ipang sagu sagul tong parehan eh dina to ni sila pwede isagol si HHQ o si THH kay naman tay event nga nag matter ang iyahang ah uh, pagkasunod-sunod so, as is good, dapat ang ato ang sample space. But, depende again na sa inyong problem. Okay. So, here our set A means that uh, two heads appear consecutively. Kung sa maning yung mga set uh, elementary ang, ang, ang two heads nag-appear consecutively. Okay. So, when you say appeared consecutively, nagsunod ang heads. So, in this case, kani, di ba? Sunod maning heads, ane. So, this one. Isa pa, this one. Sunod ang head. This one, dili. Kay, gipatungan mo siya sa tail. So, wala nagsunod ang head. So, when you say nagsunod, nag-flip kag kway, nakakita kag head. Tapos, pag upload niyo mo, flip, nakakita na po kag head. But, in this case, since tail man ang sunod, so, wala ni appear sa head consecutively. This one also, si HTT, wala. Si tail ang nag-appear consecutively, but si head wala. We have the THH, this one. H appeared consecutively. THT na TTH, wala po, and TTT. So, in this case, we have three elements on our event A. So, we have H, 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 T, and T, H, H. So, that is our 
uh, event A. Our event B, uh, all tosses are the same. So, pasabot, it could all be H or it could all be tail. So, oilain ka na og kana. So, we have here H, 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 and tail, tail, tail. Okay. So, uh, muna na siya. Muna na siya karura nga to ang na-come up na uh, mga sets. Okay. Now, if for example, we will intersect, no? Kung ito ang i-intersection si A and si B. Kung sa'yo magawa, si common sa duha. So, it could be si H, H, H. So, meaning, si pasabot ani, um, pasabot ani is that um, two or more heads appear consecutively on events wherein all tosses are the same. Diba? Now, if we union this, um, now, if union this one, union na, ma maisara ni sila duha. No? So, A union B is equals to H, H, H H, H, T T, H, H and T, T, T Okay? So, that is the, our first example. Now, let's proceed to the second example. So, so this is the our second uh, example. So, I will not na edit. Example 1 lang yapan, but this is our example number 2. So, toss a pair of dice and record the numbers on top. Let A be the event that the sum of two numbers is 6, and let B be the event that the largest of the two number is 4. Okay, so, as para sa tong gansir ka ganina, let us find the sample space. Ani nga uh, problem, or ani nga quasi nga probability. Okay, so, in this problem, you are asked to toss a pair of dice and record the two numbers on top. Okay. So, para sa inyo, pila ka ha ang content ani nga sample space. So, since hindi pa record man ta no, sa katong mga number nga nasa top, and that, as you can see, in this event, we need to get the numbers wherein ang sum nila is a 6, or that those number nga ang largest is 4. So, here, our sample space is ilaman. So, if, if, if atong i-compute, no? Kung ato ang first nga toss, ato ang first nga dice contains 1. Ang second nga dice could be also 1 up to 6, ba? Now, kana if 1 ang first, no? Kung 2 pod ang first na to nga dice, again, our second dice could be 1 up to Six, ba? So if three, it's 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 the same. So it could be one up to six, depende. No, so in this in in this case, pila man kaha ang ato ang content sa ato ang sample space. It is this. It is actually since naman tay six, no six manaka. Uh, faces ang dice is 6 mga ka size, sides so we have 6 times 6 so we have uh, 36 so the number of the element S now is 36 so S our set S our sample space has 36 elements okay Diba? Kay, pwede man, okay, so, kani siya nga, kani nga, uh, concept, no? So, pwede sa, una nga toss one, 
Ang second na toast is I want to six. Up to na punya siya sa six, no? Six could be one and six. So since one six man eh, so this could be one, two, three, four, five and six. Nya po di man po six ang sunod na. So so muna siya times ato sa six. So we have six times six. So we are our sample space has elements of thirty six. Not thirty six ka event. Thirty six ka points day. So na sub ten ba? So again, na ako ng tro na kung magtos ka o dice do ka book no. Pwede nga kung ang unang ni mga tos is one. Ang 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 isa ka dice could be either one to six. If nagtos na po ka, pwede na na chance ng two. Yung isa ang paris niya is between one to six. Could be the other way around. Pwede pwede nga kaneng sa pagtos ni mo dice, ang makita ni mo is from one to six. Tapos ang second po ni mo is from one to six. Diba? Okay, so we have here thirty-six elements. Now, um, let us find or di na nato na isulat tanan. Kaya dagan na kaya ng thirty-six. Unsa may sample na thirty-six? So, pwede element one is one one, no? Element sa to s. Pwede one two. Pwede one three. Pwede one four, pwede one five, pwede one six, pwede two one, pwede two two, and so on and so forth. Ang to six six, di ba? So inya na kadaghan thirty six na tanan. Okay, so mo ni siya ang tanan possible na output if magtos ka o duha magtos ka o duha ka dice and then i-record ni mo kung unsa tong uh, on top ng mga values now let us find uh, the events where in the sum of two numbers is six unsa man tong mga event where in ang sum is six so it could be amen three three so Three, three, or those event na po ato ni silang isam six. Pwede sa five one. Pwede sa four two. De ba? Pwede sa hmm. I think more ni sila no. Pwede sa dinyo balihon. Pwede man. Pwede man na 2-4 o ngayon pwede sa 1-5. Okay. So, pwede lagi kibali lagi ni mo ma'am. Because again, we have 2 dices. So, it could be that sa first nga dice, 5 ang isa niya, 1 ang isa. It could also be that on the second uh, sunod, uh, sa lain nga event, we have ang, ang isa ka dice is 1, uh, ang isa is 5. So, para ni Manglibog, let's say our two dice is named uh, this is Jenny ang unang dice tapos ang second dice is named uh, Oscar So, pwede sa pwede nga, pag toss ni Muduha, si Jenny naka 5 niya si Oscar naka 1 and then, pwede sa mahitabo, wherein si Jenny ang naka 1 tapos si Oscar ang naka So basically, these are different events. Mani sila pareha. Kaya lai lai mana value ngan aku an Jenny, no? So di gina natut sila po yun deh ngan ma interchange. So moni siang atau siang i ngan bali bali. So we have here our set A. Now our set B are those sets ngan um large to kono si four. So on seman. So it could be four three. It could be four two. It could be four one. Ba? Again, balik mana to? It could be three four. It could be two four. 
and it could be one four. And the largest of the two numbers, pwede pwede ay four four. Okay. So since sila manduha ang largest, no largest man si four, so pwede rang a four iyang kauban. So here is our set A and our set B. Now, kung atan siyang i-intersect, meaning uh, A could occur, there could be a number that when a sum is equal to 6, and also a number that uh, largest ang 2, a uh, largest ang 4. So, if we union that one, we have 7, 4, 2, and 2, 4. So, that is our example number 2. Okay? So, if you have further questions, just ask me. And, uh, pwede na mo mo darito pang utana sa ako as a messenger. Okay, so, that is all for this sample spaces and event lecture video. Uh, diri na kumuhanong because it's already 30 minutes. And I don't want to make the lecture video long. On the next lecture video, I'll be explaining the finite, uh, finite probability spaces okay so uh, thank you and see you on the next lecture